Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with a shoe review. So, as you guys know already, I've picked up a pair of the Nike Rosh Runs. Um, probably seen on Instagram, Twitter, whatever it might be. But here they are. Um, you got the neon and the gray, you got the teal colorway, and then you got the red and white. Um, there was also a black and white, and I decided not to pick it up um, just because I don't, I don't know. Uh, one thing is you can actually find them over at Nordstrom Rack if you got one. They're selling for about this color and the black one supposedly for about 54 bucks. So cheaper than 70 but the good thing is the retail box price for these is $70 which is insane for a comfortable shoe like this. So uh, cool thing, heard about them, I, I didn't know what to feel about it but I had to try them on locally at Nike in order to figure out sizing because based on me my feet runs a little bit wide all around so um, I went with a size 12 generally I'm a size 11 in most shoes uh, picked up a size 11 in the playoffs and so but these one have to go size 12 so um, I think a lot of people want half a size up so if you wear Kobe's Kobe 7's, stick with that size because that's probably the right size for you, so um, that's what I recommended to a friend and he said that would fit perfectly fine for him and he, uh, Kobe's don't hurt his feet at all. So the main thing, um, the highly anticipated teal color, it's a very very simple design to it, there's not too much going on here, it's just one piece on the bottom and then one piece pretty much all up on the top, of course there's this the stitching for the sewing on there so not really a one piece but it's it's one material where it looks like it's one entire piece um, the, the inside is very cool it's very light but it's just a very simple material right here um, the sock liner and some people are wearing them without socks some people are wearing them with socks um, I wear most socks just because I don't, I don't want to get all that sweaty, nasty funk in there. But if you do wear most socks, you got to kind of learn how to put them in because the green stuff right here is very grippy for the insole. So, um, other than that, these are very light, very, very, very comfortable. So, um, I, I think the feeding, feeding the street says these, you're, you're walking on clouds on these. I call these technically the Air Jesuses. So, that's what I call them, like you're walking on clouds. So, um, these colorways are sold out. You can probably find them on eBay for maybe $100 now. So, if you really think about it, it's $25 over retail after tax. Um, you can definitely find these at the store still. And you can definitely get the, um, I guess, the neon-inspired colorway at the store still. Um, one big thing that I'm anticipating is that it's kind of that mango color. So, or another way to really look at it is it's kind of a pigeon colorway. So it's kind of a peach mango on the bottom, and the top is, is the gray material. So keep an eye out because I definitely want to pick those up. Uh, great for summer shoes, great for sweats, and I think if you work in the medical field where you're a nurse, these will be great because I've been I actually wore these to the hospital a few times already. Probably my new favorite shoe. So. Um, let me give you guys a close-up of what it looks like, probably throw them on the scale of what a size 12 feels like, and definitely let me know. Go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know if you guys picked them up. So, these two you can still definitely get. Uh, the teals you're probably going to have to look on eBay because impossible to find. I don't know what it is about the teal, but they look good on feet. So, I'm going to throw these on shorts for you, and then um, I'll probably throw the other two just so you can see what they look like as well. Other than that, any questions, go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe, and hang tight. So I just want to show you the sticker. This is the Sport Red Cool Gray and Sale. Pear Platinum Anthracite and uh, Clips. And then the last one is Anthracite Wolf Gray and Cyber. So detail look I'm going to show it to you on the teal pair but these are very nice to all in all it's very very light 
very simple bottom and the inside it's a nice touch of neon in there as well so the back has a little pull tab but you can see more of the details on this pair um, I've been wearing these almost every single day now so they've, they've replaced my Jordan 3's comfort wise great with shorts um, great with some sweats so Nike swoosh and that's it. There's there's not too much to the shoe. It's got the round laces, plastic. Uh, it's got that tip, the the taped up tip. And this is not suede. It's kind of a rubberized material. Uh, if you do plan to wear it in the rain, I probably recommend some sort of a protector on these. But it's all really up to you. Um, especially for these darker ones or the red ones you should be able okay but with a lighter color mesh you definitely want something to clean it up um, the soles on these are definitely going to get dirty pretty quickly so but there they are the Rosh one I believe this is probably going to be one of the big shoe of the year for 2012 for Nike uh, very simple I believe if I'm correct it's part of the consider program I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong but for 70 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. I honestly wish I could take these to work and wear them. So, but you know, when you wear suits and stuff, it's not going to fly. But let me go throw these on, throw a pair of these on scale, and then throw these on feet so you guys can see what they look like. And here are the Rosh Run. Roche or Rosh? I don't remember. Size 12. 9.5 so they're they're as light as some track shoes out there so there they are all right so here they are um teal colorway i'm actually heading out to the grocery store right now so i thought i'd do this video before i come back and try and do another on feet so They're very, very comfortable, I can tell you that much. Um, I'll give you a full review when I get back as well, because I haven't done the first part of the video yet. But anyways, there they are. 2012, 2012 Roche Run. Roche? Roche? I forgot what they're called. Roche or Roche? I don't remember. Uh, run. And... Yeah. All right, to keep it simple, I'm just doing one on each shoe, or one on each feet. There's the red ones. And here are the neon ones. So, I would wear socks with them, because A, the main thing with me is right here, where the stitching is, it actually um, irritates my feet, so... The sock's going to give it a little bit of cushion, but other than that, there they are. Go ahead, hit me up if you've got any questions, rate, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, peace out.